Hello everybody, this is Wedge2099. I'm going to be bringing you a review today of Transformers The Last Night Premiere Edition Barricade. Uh, this is his box, box now. I'm wondering if this is going to be for the time being, for this Premiere Edition, or if this is going to be a permanent thing we'll see um, honestly I, I do actually kind of like the box he's not that bluish but it's pretty close I guess that's probably a CG render um, Bumblebee and Berserker are available in this wave too Bumblebee is the repaint for the last movie figure Barricade is now apparently just like Skywarp. Sinister Trickster. So, a pretty nice box. And none of the reviewers that I've seen have shown this. But, you know, they always, no one ever does show the instructions. Instructions are kind of trapped behind the back of the inside of the box and the actual back of the box itself. And they are just simply a Combiner Wars, late Combiner Wars slash Titan's Return style flip open, follow these steps, there you go. But anyone who thinks they got cheated, it's they didn't get instructions, they're inside between the flaps. Quick size comparison on the boxes. Titan's Return box. Star Wars, the Black Series box. movie's box is barely wider, just as tall, and they're, they're right even with each other, and just a little bit thicker. So, those those dimensions for you. And now we have the star of the show. Not those guys back there, even though they are cool. We have Barricade. And here he is. In a real, uh, I believe it's this Saline Mustang still. He rolls exceptionally well. Because, I guess it's, since it's the Premier Edition, they pinned all four wheels. That's amazing. They, they just... They hardly ever pin wheels any longer. That's, that's just great. He's got his uh, legitimate to punish and enslave. That's always been there. Uh, I really wish I had the original one still from the first movie. But I traded him in a long time ago just because it got boring and I didn't like it. Um, this one hopefully I'll have for a while, but I don't know. Uh, like my uh, friend Long Hall was saying, this quarter panel up here doesn't like to stay tabbed in perfectly. You can see the gap right there. So I gotta try and push that shut. It friction shut all right, but when it does, it leaves a large gap right there. So yeah, push that shut. Up. Oh, pop that one open. So you got if you're gonna leave it in car mode, alt mode for any period of time, you have to make do with one or the other. Uh, put him there. And for comparison with an old movie car, we have Revenge of the Fallen sideswipe.
head to head. They're pretty good. They look nice. Um, but as you can tell, Barricade is a little bit shorter at the back end. Like that. Or Stand him up. It's about a quarter inch shorter. Very nice, very nice. Weapon storage. You have is, it's either a chain gun or a ring of shotguns that kind of butterflies out to attach to the back window. We have these two slots right here. Not bad. Even better is his nightstick and his gun store in alt mode, and they don't go anywhere. I mean, they really, they do not hamper, do not hamper, hamper him at all when it comes to moving around, rolling. Very nice. Good detail on the front of the car. Come on. There we go. Nice sharp detail on the on the uh, lights, on the police lights. I, mean, I really like this hood. Sorry, cat here. I like this hood with dual intakes on it. Uh, I'm hoping Repro Labels does. I'm sure Repro Labels will do a set for this, and maybe they give you either blacked out stickers or silver reflective stickers for the windows just because you don't really want to look in to see all this robot kibble there or you know, see through hello that's pretty funny you can see right down there yeah nice police on the door there police con Very nicely detailed wheels. Um, I'm on the stance that the wheels should look like this. No silver on them. Because if you see any police vehicle out there on the road, they do not have silver painted rims. They have blacked out alloy rims. That's just part of the way it looks. So to me... It is not a slight on the vehicle at all. It's not. It could, it's them saving money on paint. So that's that. What I am going to do is go ahead and transform him now. Uh, first step: just put your fingers underneath the door flaps, lift out. And also right here. On the tail, exhaust, paint the tail lights. That's not bad. You want to get thumb in there to lift off the top and lift the whole top of the car right up. You can go ahead and flip that up like that, flip those underneath, come down here. I like to bring the wheel wells forward, untach the arms from the inside. Now if you look, the tab right there goes into a slot right there on the forearm. So that's how the arms stick close to the chest while in robot mode. Oh, knock that off. Oh well. Bring the arms down, slide them up, <laughs> slide up, and bring forward on this nice little hinge. Hinge in the shoulder here is very nicely done. We'll cover that in articulation. Swing the wheels up to give them that faux 
first version of the figure look with the they go up over his shoulders now for the legs pop them apart one second all right they're separated take the tail light section out flip it back bring the toe down that will make his heel in front of his toe turn that turn that bring down and back again bring down again rinse and repeat there you go this heel spur is good to go I'm going to bring the backpack down and there's a tab right here that will go into a slot here right above the st For some reason they're adding stand holes like Tamachi figure stand holds holes on the backs of the figures okay some people like it I don't need it I don't have any of those but that little that slot right there is where this tab right here goes bring it straight down put it right in and as long all said get some nice turtle shell backpack and after that we have long <laughs> no we don't have long haul we have barricade all transformed up all right, now that he is all transformed up into his bot mode, bring that heel back again. He's a rather nice little figure. Um, my main complaint about alt mode, uh, bot mode here is the fact he's so, so short and squat here in the chest, abdomen area. It, it's just, he's too compressed. He's, he's packed down. Uh, but as I've seen pictures of the, I'm not done yet, as I've seen pictures uh, online, the original Barricade and the second one for Revenge of the Fallen, I think, uh, he was also squat in the chest, squat and wide, don't know why. I forgot to finish transforming the arms. So he's like that now, swivel the elbow forward so you can bend it proper now bring the wrists around so now it's like that rinse and repeat bam so that is him in his robot mode again um, he does have just fine storage on his legs for those. Pretty nice. I believe you can also store them in those slots there on the outside of his forearms. There's one. There's two. Don't really know why you want to put his gun on his forearm, but see the chest kind of just frictions down a little bit, doesn't click, doesn't lock, but it's good enough. Um, maybe these should be the other way around. We have the gun facing back. So if he needs to, he can reach around, pull it. Nah, that's just silly. Can't do that. Ah, okay, now for accessories, you can put the chain gun into the hollow part under his forearm there. Slides right in like that and swivels out and bam. Looks pretty good. He's going to protect you hardcore.
There you go. Yeah. Protect and serve. Very nice. Very nice indeed. You can also put his baton. Uh, let's take this off over here. Take his baton. Use the grip. And just put it down underneath his fore, underneath his hand. There you go. There's the gun. Yeah, I'm just dropping everything right now. He holds everything remarkably well. Now, because the backpack, there's the fan mode for the backpack, because it is on a friction joint right there, just pop it right off, close that back down, lock it in, close this, right here, between the friction joint and the bottom There, there's a nice little gap. That gap will actually allow you to put the gun sight in between those posts and friction in to act as a right shield. And it's being tricky because I am pressed for time. Be right back. All right, let's try that again. Why are you leaning down anyway? All right, let's take it out of his hand. Gun, slot, bam. <laughs> it does, it fits in there just fine. I'm just being a little ham-handed ham right now. Things just don't want to agree with me. So I turn the gun to the side. That way it allows them to look like it's being, you know, being slung. I mean, it looks pretty good nice it works congrats thank you long haul for posting the pics and letting showing us how to do it let's get all this out of his hands now for articulation shoulders go the arms go 360 he goes out that far before he starts smacking himself in the head uh, it's got that nice transformation joint where it goes one back Middle, one front for transforming into alt, alt mode. Uh, has a nice bicep rotation. Uh, got an elbow, which gets him right at 90. But not, something, I don't like the curvature here. I don't like that little bit of a curvature there on his forearm. Kind of throws me off. Uh, legs. Can do the full Van Damme split. Legs kick almost all the way forward. All the way back. When you don't have the backpack attached. Let's put that back on so you can see. It's proper. Back in place. And now backpack attached. His leg only goes back that far. 
kind of sucks. But you can still still put them in pretty dynamic pose. There he is there. Straighten them up. Bot mode comparison. Here he is with Dark of the Moon. Stop slouching. Dark of the Moon Murder Bee. I love this mold. This is a custom painted one that I bought a couple years ago. It is freaking awesome. Person did a wonderful job doing it. I mean. Look at that detail right there. Look at that detail in here. Nice detailed paint. Get away, bar barricade. This is just an excellent figure. Barricade is a good figure as well. So, I know, I'm not really, <clears throat> not really my best today. Kind of got flustered a little bit. But this guy is definitely worth the purchase if you feel like it. He is going to be the only deluxe, prim uh, the premier wave that I get. I'm not bought. <laughs> yes, that's how today went. Starting my vacation from work today. Right now, I'm off of work for the next week. I keep messing this up. Um. But yeah, this is the only version, this is the only premiere edition figure that I am getting, buying. Uh, maybe if I win Berserk, that's great. But I'm not going out and buying them. I would like to get Optimus, but I'm a little hesitant. I've seen the reviews on him. He does look pretty darn good. He does not fall over that easily. I am just really bad at this today. Bring your legs forward. Bam, bam. Get your heel spurs. Feet down. Heels proper. There, see? Nothing. Alright. Sorry. Ramble City. Have a great day. Love y'all. Hope to see you around sometime. Bye.